Hello, this is Bob Bedard from BobInTheNet.com, and this is my super simplified Garduino project. Um, basically, I'm a big fan of the Garduino, which you can find on Make Magazine, and uh, I really liked it, but I thought it was a little too involved for something that would just fit on a desktop at work or at, at, on a coffee table at home. Uh, there was a lot going on there that I didn't think was necessary, so what I did was simply strip it down. Um, actually, there's nothing different from what you can find in the actual Garduino project. The code is essentially the same. Um, the wiring is, is really the same. Um, all I did, though, is change it so that uh, when the plant needs to be watered, the LED on the top of the plant will light up and without shaking the camera too much. Uh, there's that LED. Um, so, okay, to demonstrate this project uh, really quickly, what I'm going to do is change the uh, moisture sensor uh, readout threshold um, so that uh, currently the sensor is reading 655. Um, so I'm going to change that so that the LED lights up when it hits 700. Um, so you can see the LED light up and then what happens when I water. Um, and before I hit upload, let me reposition the camera. Okay, uh, watch the LED in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Okay, um, now um, LED is lit up, and I'm going to water, and the LED will turn back off. Try not to get my Arduino wet. That would not be good. And 700 is kind of a really high threshold, but uh, there it is. That's uh, and that'll go off. That'll go off again when that uh, moisture value drops below 700. And uh, that's about it for my project. Um, you can find pretty much everything on my blog, bobandthenout.com, and also on Make Magazine. Um, thanks.